okay this tutorial is apply on Android M11 one UI core 2 and Android 10 okay and it also binary 2 <coughs> and since that it also can be applied on Android A11 because basically it has the same hardware but I haven't tested so please test the custom recovery see if it if it's work on Android A11 okay all the files and instruction I'll provide in my blog so please check the description box okay okay stay tuned guys and check it out Okay, hello guys. Assalamualaikum. We meet again with Ombop. This time we have uh, Samsung phone. This is the Galaxy M11, and it also known as the Galaxy A11. Okay. Today we're going to try to load this phone. Okay. So the step is unlock, load the phone, and after that we flash the some recovery that contain the CRP and the VB meta. Okay, let's go to the settings. I want to check uh, the build number and person for this one. Okay, go to the software information, and we've got Android 10 based on one UI core, one UI core 2.0. Okay, and it is uh, using the <coughs> binary 2. Okay, this one the build number xxu2 okay this is means this means it is using the binary 2 okay let's enable the <coughs> developer option by hit the build number five times 345 okay and go back <coughs> back again go to the developer option and make sure you have Turn on the YM unlock, okay. And also, it's uh, it's a nice thing that you should remove all the emails, okay, so you don't get stuck in the FRP, okay. So let's get started. The first step we need to do is to unlock the release this one. Okay, let's turn off the one. And let's go to the Download mode. Okay. Now we need to go to the download mode. After turn off the pawn, we need to press the two button, the volume up and the volume down. <coughs> okay. Press the volume up, volume down, and after that, plug in your USB cable. Okay, then there is a question warning, <clears throat> and we need to press the volume up. Okay, long press about five seconds, maybe. Okay, then we'll give you an <clears throat> question again. Unlock the loader. Okay, yes, so we need to press the volume up one more time. Just press one time. Okay, and <clears throat> after that. We will get a warning that our pawn has been unlocked. Let's wait until it puts into the home screen. Okay, finish the wizard, enter the under home screen, and after that, connect to the file data, and we'll wait for one minute. Okay, so we'll stop this video and we'll continue. Okay guys, so now we are already in the home screen again. So all we need to do is connect it to the internet. Okay. You can use the mobile data from your for your SIM card or using the Wi-Fi. Okay. Wait for about one minute and activate the developer option. Okay. Let's 
go to the settings. What fun? <clears throat> so for information. Okay, hit the build number five times. Go back. Go back again. Developer option. And here we go. Okay. So <clears throat> we need to make sure that the YM unlock is turned on. Okay. Like this one. Because sometime if after unlock bootloader we directly flash the custom recovery, we will we will get uh bootloop. Okay. So make sure you go to the uh the home screen and make sure the YM unlock is turned on. Okay. And after that <clears throat> let's turn up the phone and we will flash the custom recovery. Also the Fib meta okay. Okay now let's go to the donut mode. Sure you have to turn off your phone. After that press the volume up and volume down like before and plug in the USB cable. And you will get the warning like this one. Okay. Let's press the volume up once. Okay, if it goes to the donut mode. Okay, now let's switch the screen. <clears throat> now let's open Odin. Goes to the uh, option tab right here. Okay, and make sure you have uncheck the auto reboot. Okay. <coughs> Open the folder where you have the files. Okay, this is the file. M1 snap 550. Uh, okay, this file is contain the custom recovery and also the PB meta. Okay, I will copy the path, hit the IP button right here, and paste the path. Okay, just select the star file and hit the start button okay now it's already finished let's close this one and let's switch again okay <coughs> okay for that we need to force reboot the button by pressing the volume down and the power button when the pawn rebooted switch from the volume down to the volume up okay. so let's force reboot the pawn and switch to the volume up still press the still pressing the volume up until it goes to the custom recovery okay now we are in the custom recovery okay let's check the file and you can see it's still encrypted Okay, let's go to the wipe option right here. Select format data and type yes. Okay, hit enter. Hit the home button, select reboot and recovery. Okay, now go to the wipe again. This time, select the advanced wipe, select the Delphic data and cast, and swipe it. And let's connect to the USB cable. And let's switch the screen again. Uh, sorry, uh, I want to backup some files. Okay. 
let's go to the backup option tab uh, select enable compression back to the backup tab again want to backup the the efs okay the wood efs and modem okay let's swipe it and let's switch the screen Okay, this is the step. Knock put loader. We've done it. Let's get some recovery. Let's get some recovery. Reboot to the custom recovery. Format data. Uh, let's some files. Okay. Yeah, let's open our manager. <coughs> and we need to copy some files. Uh, where is the file? Can I forget? <coughs> uh let's use where is it uh let's use the galaxy m21 where is it okay we're going to need this file let's copy this one paste it in here this one and this one and i want to back up the FS okay let's put it in here okay it's always a good idea to back up the EFS okay if there's something wrong you can always uh, recover the EFS file okay and then we need mages okay I'm going to use the canary one but you can always use whatever you want okay and uh, let's switch again the screen okay <clears throat> let's open custom recovery again just do the install and plus the inscription disabler okay uh it seems it doesn't work uh. okay seems that we don't need the inscription disabler just flash the multi disabler okay swipe it go back and let's flash the canary okay the magic file you can always use the stable one or the canary one Okay, done. Now let's just hit the reboot system and we we'll wait for several minutes until it goes to the Android wizard screen. Okay, now we are in the Android wizard. Okay, just click next, next. Okay, Put this one. Done and it's done okay make sure you have not reboot the pawn before one minute okay and make sure also you have connected to the internet using your mobile data or the or the wi-fi Okay, later. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> now we are in the home screen. Okay, I will need to turn off some update <clears throat> because I don't want spawn to automatically update apps. Okay, let's go here and. So for update, let's turn, turn off this one. Okay. 
okay i will check if this sim card have uh, mobile data okay it seems that next time okay it's connected Now you can see we already have magazine here, but it isn't completed yet, so we have to uh, update this magazine. Okay, you can always install the apps or just open the magazine apps, it will automatically download, automatically update, and you connect to the internet. Okay, I will copy. The APK into the internal storage. Let's open the file manager. And let's install this edges APK. Let's open this one. and it requires additional setup okay just hit okay and it will reboot the pawn Okay, then. Mm. Let's open the manager. Uh, I want I want to install the root tackle. Okay, just for fun. Where is it? <laughs> Don't have APK. I'm going to copy the, the file. So this one. Let's open it. Okay, let's try to open the images first. Okay, nice. So we have successfully installed the mages. I'm using the Canary one, uh, and it's installing the RAM disk. Okay, check another checker. Your SM M11 5F is rated on Android 10. Okay, nice. So that's all, guys. Ah, uh, this is the tutorial on how to root your pawn on Android M11. Okay, I hope you like this video. If you like, please hit the like button. And I also hmm, have a last video about routing and custom ROM. Please check my other video. And if you subscribe, uh, we will get notified when I'm uploading a video. I will very appreciate it if you subscribe because it makes me excited to make a new video. Okay, that's all, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care, and wassalamualaikum.